What's up guys, Jeeves here. I just wanted to do a quick video today with the different traction settings on my Focus ST. Um, also be able to show you a, an HD sound clip of what the exhaust sounds like. And there's also three upgrades here uh, that you'll get to see in action. One, uh, the Ford Performance Calibration, which I have on my car. Uh, two, the rear motor mount that I have installed here, which helps reduce wheel hop when you're doing a launch. Um, and then three, the Ford Performance Sport Exhaust. So those three things, and I'm also going to launch in normal mode, sport mode, and then with traction control totally off. So just wanted to give you that, a nice HD video to kind of show you that if you're interested in doing any of those upgrades, um, but I hope you enjoy the video. that one at about 3,000 RPMs and again it's not like a clutch dump I'm doing I'm kind of easing into it um, but just to give you an idea of what's exactly what I'm doing all right so now we're gonna put it in sport mode so that means you just hit this button right here that says uh, traction off so now we're in sport mode basically what this does is uh, reduce the interference from the brake vectoring so a lot of times I feel this actually re reduces torque steer on the car too when you're driving aggressively. So if you have a Focus ST, try that out. Uh, let me know what you think. So now we're gonna do about another two to 3,000 RPM launch uh, and see what the difference is in wheel spin and everything. So lets you get maximum, put, lets you put maximum power down. Um, so now let's turn it all the way off. The surface here isn't too great either. Uh, this is kind of rough back here. So now electronic stability is is off, and there's even like a little uh, info like eye popping up, just letting you know like, hey, everything is totally off right now. So I guess you could consider this like a track mode. drive car is obviously not nearly as fun as rear wheel or all wheel um, but it, it shows you the differences in drive modes and I think you guys can probably hear the difference in the tires chirping and spinning um, yeah I mean the surface is definitely rough the tires are not at like a track temperature to get full grip but overall I think it launches pretty well from those RPMs you don't want to be spinning your tires the point of a launch is to get the maximum zero to 60 times so that's just kind of what you're doing help work on uh, perfecting those shifts and everything so I hope you guys like that video um, some things that I learned just based on those launches and some things we've been talking about on the in the comments for a while on this channel is definitely a limited slip differential would help you gain a little bit more traction there 
Uh, I think you'd notice a limited slip differential more when you're going through the turns. The car wouldn't feel as clumsy. Um, it would actually put the power in the places where it was necessary the most. Um, that's one thing I noticed when I was on the Snake out in California is if you had that LSD, um, it would be way, uh, way more nimble through the turns. Even though it was good already, uh, it would just be a little more agile. So on those launches, again, I think the ways to improve would be having maybe launch a little bit harder, limited slip differential, warming the tires up, a better surface. This surface all along here is cracked and bumpy. Um, but even for that, I mean, it handled it well. The rear motor mount, it really keeps those wheels down on the ground. When I had a stock motor mount in this car um, and I would launch it out, not launch it out of first gear, but hit it hard out of first gear, um, those tires would bounce all over the place. This really fixed that and made the shifting a little bit more firm as well. So. Overall, I hope it was an educational video for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already done that. And thank you for watching.